Hey guys, John here, Motor T Scale Model. So let's take a look at what we're going to put on the bench next. I think, uh, I think I'm going to go with this um, AMT 1964 Ranchero. This is a 125th scale. I know a lot of people have done these, so I'm not really going to get into a whole lot um, redundancy and stuff, but um, looks like it's going to be a pretty cool kit. It's got a lot of Coca Cola. Um, decals uh, but I'm not gonna go the coca-cola route I'm not a big uh, collector of coca-cola stuff so um, what we're going to do is maybe just do a little customized job on these uh, these things weren't very sporty uh, back in the day um, had a real small four-cylinder engine in them um, but I think I'm going to build it, uh, put a little bit of mods to it, just kind of see what we can do. Anyway, so let's take a look and see what is going inside the, uh, the build here, or what, what the build is about. So, excuse me just a second while I get this tore open. So you have the body. And the lower chassis. Lower chassis got some pretty nice detail. Uh, axles built in. This will be a real quick kit because um, a lot of this is, is just not a whole lot of parts. But the body looks really, really nice. It's got some flashing that I'm going to have to deal with, um, some panel lines and stuff like that, but a little bit of work. Um, the bed's built in which uh, is okay I guess yeah belt, beds built in it's got some cleanup in here we got to do um, but we'll get to it as you can see the interior is all kind of one piece um, but you know these things this was built, this was put together more for the Coca Cola collector type thing. So, anyway, um, love the raised letters. Might be able to do something with that uh, and go from there. So, we have a chrome, and it's got a set of, of um, custom hubs in it, which I like. Uh, two different style valve covers, which is cool. Um, See what all that has to do. Your front end, and then you got your hubs for your your uh, factory wheels. You got your clear parts. Comes with these cool little Coca-Cola bottles. Um, if you wanted to use those, you could. Metal axles. Got some nice white wall tires if you want to go white wall or you can go black they're uh, real nice little tires may hold on to those though. all right so let's see what we have in here okay So this is a pretty cool little item. Um, if you wanted to go with it, it might be okay. This is the the Coca-Cola ice box or the the, the uh, cooler. You see these back in the day. I can remember um, going to a store with my grandfather um, back in the late '60s, and you'd slide the top open, and the bottles went around a little little track. Uh, always. Every time I see one of those in an antique store, it always reminds me of my grandfather. Um, you have your steely rims if you want those and wheel backs. And uh, you got a bed cover, which I love that. A couple styles of bed covers. Uh, hood. Some exhaust, it looks like. Steering column. Um, Maybe that goes up underneath 
the front end or something. I'm not sure. We'll take a look and see what that is. Anyway. We'll find out what that is later on. Not too sure. Alrighty. So then in here. So this kit has a little bit more uh, customizing stuff than, than I expected. Which is cool. I like that. I like that. Alright. So it looks like it's going to have a V8. V8 motor. And again, I'm... Not sure what these things right here are. Looks like you got maybe a little toolbox that goes with it. You got a jack. That's pretty awesome that goes with it. Um, again, I'm not sure what that is or what this up here is. Um, that may be a customized hood, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to take a look and see. Um, but this is getting a little bit more interesting. Your dash. Well, a little bit of good detail on the dash. I think you can dress that up. And um, maybe maybe a Coca-Cola. I don't know. Maybe a vending machine. Uh, you got some little skirts, some seat belts. Um, maybe little water cans there. Um, very interesting. Well, let's see what all that stuff right there is when we get into the instructions. Uh, I'm not going to open up the the uh, decals because we've seen those already on the box. So uh, the instructions uh, looks like it's pretty simplistic. Um, not a whole lot of detail to it. I mean, there's good detail, but not. It's not. There's only like six or yes, yeah, six little. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you put that right there together, and you can display it on the wall. Well, that's that's kind of cool. I guess I wouldn't put it on my wall, but that's fine. Um, some fuel cans. Maybe you can make this like a little shop truck. Uh, looks like maybe a push push bar for the front of if you're going to use it as a shop truck so that's what that is you can customize the hood I'm not too sure about that I may have to look into that a little bit more um, I do like the bed cover um, so that's what those are those are like little uh, fender spears or whatever you want to call it you got mirrors that go up here on the front. I am absolutely not a fan of mirrors way up on the front. So uh, that reminds me too much of foreign cars. Uh, like when I was in Japan, all the cars up there had mirrors way out on the front. Uh, I didn't really much care for it. And then uh, it looks like you have your um, ice chest. So, okay. All right, guys. So the 19... 60 Ford Ranchero. Uh, looks like we're going to build it. We may customize it. Um, kind of go that route. Not sure. We'll take a look and see from there. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. All right, guys. So on the body here, we got some high spots that we're going to work on to sand down. We got a really large one right there take some of this sharpness off that on the on the hood here um, I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a little bit of a lip right there and that's that's for that other piece that's going to go on there um, I don't much think I'm going to use it so I got to try to get that trimmed down to where it'll be a little bit more flush um, so we got some we've got quite a bit of sanding to do so I'm gonna jump on it and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we get done. All right, guys. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys. So we uh, did our sanding. Got that panel line gone. That one gone. I got to do just a little bit more to get just finish up on the the, the black marker. 
This on the roof came off really nice. It's really nice and smooth. Um, so I think we are good to uh, continue on with this. Uh, a little bit of flashing around the windows I'm going to work on, but the majority of it, that sharp edge on the, the body line is gone. Um, the mold line right there is gone. Uh, you, you can't even see it, so uh, we should be good. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we've got the primer laid down, and uh, as you can see, uh, there's just a just the slightest little hint right there, uh, but that's okay. Um, it was a pretty good chunk. The roof turned out really, really well. So uh, the primer laid down good. A little bit of a dark gray primer on the car. A little bit of a dark color primer on the hood. So anyway, I think we're we're setting pretty good. We got the first coat on the the uh, <coughs> lower chassis. Anyway, all right, guys. All right, guys. So we've got the paint laid down. The tunnel cover. I went ahead and did it, and the same as the stripe. Chromed out all the the tabs that go on it. So don't think she looks too bad so far. I'm kind of I'm digging the 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 tan in the or the sand in the gray. Things look pretty good. Lower chassis uh, still working on it, but uh, it's coming together. Got to got to paint the mufflers. Um, got the hood done. So uh, we're coming along, and I uh, think everything's going to work out pretty good. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. All right, guys. So let's take a look at an issue that's come up here. I'm going to bring in the instruction sheet. You see how the uh, water pump is, is set up, okay? And then you have your pulley assembly and your fan. However, it appears that the pump, I'm sorry, the fan it goes on there on the motor this way and I'll show you. So it should go in there like that. Okay? Like that. The problem is is you have a nipple here and a dead gum nipple here. If you can see that. And then on this side you got this great big stem for the fan, but it don't it don't go in there. It don't match up. So apparently per the instructions these things don't work so we'll have to go in and adjust them to get them to work so just weird um, and it has if I can get my fingers out of the way it has a nipple here nothing nothing supposed to be there and then a nipple there and a nipple there so it's it's weird Anyway, uh, if you're working on this motor uh, for this uh, 60s uh, wrench arrow, just understand that that's, that's an issue you're going to deal with. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we've got the interior tub inside of the vehicle. I did the seats the same as the trim, put the black seat belts in there, painted the steering wheel black, as you saw earlier. Um, got the um, motor in place. Um, got the radiator put in, got the firewall stuck in there, uh, gonna let that kind of dry up a little bit, um, got the front grill done, uh, the headlights are in there waiting to dry, black wash the grill, uh, ambered the turn signals, 
So uh, we are just about finished with this. Going to let it kind of do a little bit more drying, and then we will uh, go from there. So we'll catch you guys here in a few minutes. All right, guys. So we've got the AMT Coca-Cola Tribute uh, 1960 Ford Ranchero finished, and uh, it didn't turn out too bad. This is a this is a very simplistic kit. It was very easy to throw together. Uh, didn't have a whole lot of issues with it. Um, it went really, really well together. Um, like I said, absolutely no, no problems. Um, let me take this off and then I'll take the hood off. So some of the smaller issues on this is um, trying to get the the uh, pipe to line up didn't quite work out that well um, so it is what it is I'll fix that a little bit later on um, other than that I mean it you know the chassis was pretty good um, the tail lights I got those painted in amber put them on there uh, mirror I only went with one mirror um, except you know the motor it just it's just so simplistic but it was literally a very very fun kit to put together um really no no major fitment issues um per se um but uh, this is a nice little kit just to, it's it wasn't too expensive real nice little kit if you if you're big into doing the coca-cola stuff uh it's great for that you get a lot of good decals the uh vintage coca-cola ice chest or our vending machine whatever you want to call it uh the, the bottles and all the decals are great uh, i'm not into the coca-cola thing so uh but i don't have anything against anybody who is um that's that's you can do great with this um i want to do this kit just to kind of kind of like cleanse the palate of some of the the more uh kits i've had struggles with in the past but anyway um, I recommend you getting this kit and, uh, you know, putting it together. Uh, these rims did not come with the kit. They were out of another kit, but I did keep the rims that, that did come with this kit, and I'll use them a little bit later on. Um, these are different tires, so I've got the white wall tires. I may use those on something else later. But anyway, um, really good kit. I enjoyed it. No, no major issues. I thought it was, was really fun. It was a very fast kit to put together. I did uh, find out that um, there was some piece there. I didn't know what it went to. And then basically it's a wall mount um, if you wanted to put that together. So uh, that was an option. The one thing I did love about this kit is it came with some, some uh, little accessories. Uh, it came with two fuel cans, a toolbox, and a jack. I'm going to use those on another kit and uh, make that look a little bit better um, more of a shop truck type vehicle so uh, i'm going to use those a little bit later on so you get a lot of good parts with this there's some things you didn't quite know uh what to do with this one actually had a little a little bit of a push bar for the front i'm going to hold on to that also um i did a a little uh gas station type uh truck that goes out and and you know helps people and stuff and i scratch built a front push pad in case the vehicle stuck on you know and they need to push it off the road i scratch built one of those and it worked out really good but now i've got one so uh, a lot of good extra parts that i really enjoy so hey guys i appreciate you checking out my channel if you're new to the channel thank you very much for coming and watching it uh, if you like what you see hit that like button Hit the share button so uh, other people can can you know see and I can see what other people are out there doing. Uh, hit the notification button so you be notified whenever a new video comes up. And if you're uh, already a member, thank you very much for all your your love and support. I appreciate all you guys' comments. Uh, they've been really really helpful. I enjoy watching y'all's videos because I do learn a lot uh, of good uh, tips and ideas. So and I'm telling you, I feel like my my builds are getting better um, so just by stealing some of your guys's uh, you know uh, methods and, and ideas so anyway i appreciate you guys thank you very much and we will catch you on the next build